Hi, it's Pekka from Rockbullet and welcome to my workshop. And over here I have Kempi X5 Super Welding Machine. It's a pulse welding machine with 500 amperes and nice computer. And I have done this video in the commercial cooperation with Kempi. So I'm this I'm not like YouTuber really. I am manufacturing Rockbullet Mini first of all others, but when I'm manufacturing tomes, I'm welding. For example, over here I I have Megamax Boki, and I have been welding those with my old Kempi Weldforce welding machine. I have been happy with this machine, but then I was thinking that, hey, this is 20 years old. There has to be nowadays even better machines than my super welding machine. So uh, then I did contact to Kempi and asked from them, hey, do you have something what is the greatest and the best for me? And they were like, yep, we have Kempi X5. Uh, this is super messy. And then they did also, so they did bring this to me for testing purpose. They did also bring me some gloves. And also I have Kempi welding helmet. So beta. This is nice. And then I have fresh air unit from the Kempi. Yeah. And I hope also, I have also for this machine, I have this flex light. So this is doesn't look much, but it's you attach that over here, and then you have like in several welding positions nicer, nicer corner for your hand. It's nicer for your hand. Yeah. This video would be pretty boring if I would go over there to computer and look for the screens and what kind of different setups there is. No, I will take the welding machine, one boggy, and weld. And during we are welding, we are looking different features in the machine. So this Kempi X5 is a pulse welding machine. And why, it's, why that is important. When you are not usually welding, you are using with a MIG welding, you are using cold arc. So when you are welding it, like thin material or something like that, you notice that it's like lower power and it's like making this kind of... Like and then you have hot, hot arc, which is then like, it makes, makes it more flat, but it burns. With boost machine, you, when you are welding, you are using both. So it's like, it makes the cold arc, hot arc, cold arc, hot arc. And that is not possible with that machine because the power unit down here doesn't cannot follow that kind of stuff. So it's you cannot have to order machine spools. But with this machine, when there is this kind of super power unit, and then you have computer, you can use that. So let's get serious. So this Sykes, now I have a pulse with Vice Fusion and I'm just driving those through. It's pretty basic simple welding, makes nice noise and it makes nice quality. So over here I have a little problematic part. So this flange over here, it's not so simple to weld because I don't get any anywhere nice position over there. So now I take something special. So now I will take Vice penetration is 188 amps I have now setting and that will happen in every situation so in the longer uh, wire or shorter wire all the time because when I now start to weld I, this uh, beginning will be simple but then it will be difficult to get to the end so now I have special problem so now I have also special program So it looks like that. It's not perfect. When the Kempi guy was over here welding that, it looked better than my regular BC. So he was so great to weld. But anyway, that will stay over there. And it's way better than before. Before it was more to luck. Now it's because the end of that area, it's more or less blind. I'm lucky I have only those short distance from the total bogey. So that will stay, no worries about that. 
And I did also take, okay, so this flex light extra handle. Bang, bang, everybody has to do that. I did take that off. Ne Later when I'm be, be continuing welding, I will again attach this over there. Now we have next problem. So over here there is cap. It's about, it's two mm, so minor cap. But if I go with full, with full power, it will go through because it's like, uh, with full power, the, it's like spray. And it will go through over there. So now I will take double pulls. So that makes more waves, so it's a colder moment if you take in and then like hotter. So okay, new tool for this kind of special case. You will you will uh, hear that it goes like this wave. Problem fixed. So there was pretty wide gap for the welding. I didn't know if in the normal case that would have gone through. But now with the double pulls it was like pumping, 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 pumping. And it was feeling it. So these special programs are made for the mistakes. So if everything would be this kind of super simple seems, in the perfect position super simple, there wouldn't be any need for those programs. But when there is something special like you have to weld in the straight position or there is caps or something like that then the programs are pretty nice for that situation so next i will again take pulse and i will continue welding anyway i will have short introduction for the user interface so over here the key thing over here is different uh, memory channels so for example i have now channel number one then i can uh, I will set up over here different welding parameters. So now I have pulls and like different different stuff and like how much is the feed and so there is huge amount of the different settings you can have. But of course with seal, I don't need all of those. But if I would welding aluminium or something more strange, I would use that. And then when I have the channels, I'm just like when I'm actually welding over here. I don't have to work over there, so I can have like some special programs. And when I'm in that situation, I just take this and trace from here, and then it will do different stuff. So it's pretty nice. It looks nice. It's not the perfect, but it looks nice because it's that is second bucky I'm welding with that machine, and it's uh, with this flex light it's a different angle and everything is really different but it's so it's it will be my i will make the next video i will make one video more it's about i will build original rock bullet bogies a lot and i think after 10 bogies i will learn how this machine actually works how it's like and position and all of that kind of stuff but i did already notice that there is huge benefits with this the biggest benefit is that you notice no grinding. Place. It's like uh, before I have to use those sprays and then grinding. There's there nothing. It's like it's so smooth before grinding. It's I save so this uh, Kempi. It's pretty expensive welding machine. So compared to other machines, it's expensive. It's nice tool, but the th one thing is that it should be faster in welding. I will make in the next video, I will, uh, I will uh, uh, clock. So I will measure how long it takes to weld one original lock with Pocky. I know how much it takes with that machine and then also grinding. So then I will learn the time saving because this should be faster. So the push and vice fusion, it should be way faster. And it, it also feels, but it's, it's hard to like in action it's hard to notice like the speed because i'm any, anyway waiting in the same way yeah so it's nice tool i will make one video more and of course if you guys have professional welding and you need to have super good machine so please contact kempi and this is x5 pulls 
it's a good machine. Yeah, this is, and this video was made in commercial cooperation with Kempi. So that might be a little strange that I'm, I'm manufacturing lock bullets, uh, forest machines, and this is my company's YouTube channel. So this should be about my forest machines. And then I'm like, professional company makes a uh, commercial cooperation, but it's the thing why I did do this is that I want to test because that is 20 years old machine. I did want to test if I can speed up my production, make better quality faster with other equipment. So they did load this and that was, so they did benefit from this and then they did give me some stuff to compensate my time to make marketing for them. Yeah. See you in next longer welding video. Bye.